Today we're playing Fortnite Chapter 6, Season 4, and we're the OG Ally. For our settings, we're playing at 1080p, and at the medium preset. This is my third game on. As you guys know, with Fortnite, the first few games will start out like crazy. So I've played through them, I've suffered, and now we're recording. And yeah, so far doing pretty decent. 40 to 50 FPS in the sky. Once you land, it will go up into the 70s on average. But man, this game was a pain to get going. I can't even lie. Like, for some reason, after the update, the game would not run. It forced me to enable parental controls to see the settings, I guess. And even with that active, I couldn't play. It was a weird bug. And the awesome thing about the Epic Games Store is, you can't disable it. So if you enable parental controls... Oh my god, bad aim. You can't disable it, dude. Gah, get him! <laughs> yes! Yeah, I restarted the Epic Games client, I uninstalled it, I signed out, signed back in. And nope, it was still broken. I spoke to support, and it fixed it for me, thankfully. And I will say the Epic Games Store support is actually pretty quick and helpful. And yeah, we're sitting at 60 FPS. It's playing just fine. It does stutter here and there, like always, but it's quite good, to be honest. And the graphics also look nice as well. Sadly, my skills on the sticks are below average, just to say that. If I get kills here, I'll be happy, but <laughs> it probably won't happen, to be honest. Where are we going? I do want to know how this compares to the Switch 2 version because that is far more efficient, plus it has DLSS. So I'm guessing it's running at above 1080p if it's docked and uh, at a lower TDP as well. Hello! Dude, I'm cracked. Down here into the low 50s and to be fair, on the uh, controllers, it feels fine. I can't feel the input delay at all. It feels good. It is time for 900p. And again at 30 watts. The stutters are back. That's always fun. I've played, I think, four or five games now, and <laughs> it's still stuttering, guys. Are they inside? They are. I'm so dead, aren't I? Holy bad aim. <laughs> if that was a bot, I wouldn't be surprised. Or maybe it's a, a Switch 1 player playing on their Joy-Cons with stick drift. You know, surprisingly, I played uh, the Switch for, I think three years before I sold everything, and I never got stick drift. I was super lucky. I mean, look at the stutters here, guys. Look at the stutters here. It is just unplayable. And I've done, I think, six games now, and it's never ending. The first game was awful. The first game was frozen for, I think, five seconds. But yeah, for the FPS, we're sitting at around 60 FPS up to 85. Like, it's pretty close to before, to be honest. It's very close, but that is because we're being CP bottom liked. In a GP band scenario, it will come in handy. It will give us some extra FPS. So yeah, keep that in mind. But overall, it does look good and play mostly well as well. He's up here. Yes, fight him. That's Mike. Wait, what? What was that? Dude, stop running, man. Get over here. Okay. <laughs> what was that? Holy aim assist. So playing for longer, I can actually see the performance is better. It's sitting at 80 FPS more consistently than before. Dude, you gotta be kidding me, right? Try again. There we go. What a waste. Somebody's up here. Oh. What is going on, dude? Why are you running? Has to be a bot. It has to be a bot. 720p and at 15 watts. So far at 60 FPS too, which is nice. Oh, let's go. I got the chainsaw. No! <laughs> yes! That was way too close. So yeah, playing surprisingly well. It's quite snappy and responsive. The stutters, honestly, it's not going to go away fully, but the game is playable, to be honest. It is definitely playable. And after this game, I'm going to back out and try performance mode as well. Freebie! Don't kill me, please! Nah. That's crazy. <laughs> what? I don't know. I have no words. Oh, 
Dude, every fight is just so close on controller. Chop him down! Chop him down! Oh, hello! What is that? No! <laughs> that was definitely lag and not a skill issue whatsoever. Let's back out, try performance mode, and see how we go there. Playing in performance mode at 30 watts. We're sitting at 120 to 140 FPS. The graphics are quite basic. It looks like what the Switch 1 did, but at a high resolution. For some, this is playable to be honest. This does look, it's pretty basic, but for Fortnite, it looks fine to be honest. So I think for some, this is still playable. And yeah, the inputs do feel far more responsive, obviously, because it is way higher than what we had before. And it does stutter at the start, but it's definitely calmed down now once we actually got, once we got going. Hello. <laughs> I love it. Is he a bot? Get over here. Hold on a second. Ow. Well, this isn't going to plan. Did I rammed him three times and he still had shield on him? That's crazy. 15 watts. So far at 110. Chainsaw. I love it. Oh crap, where is he at? Is that a is that a wall hack thing? I feel like it is. And I think I'm dead to be honest. I don't know, I got a bad feeling about this lobby. The use case for this one is definitely far more niche. You have to be on battery plus wanting to get high FPS. But yeah, it does play well regardless. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time for the next video. See you guys there.